What's up, doll collectors, hobbyists, and fabs and besties? Since it's nice and warm outside, I did a little shopping on Amazon, looking for Barbie playsets that are perfect for the summer. I found this Barbie doll and gardening playset on sale for $16.99. Normally, it's priced at $19.99. And I found a Barbie Farmer's Market playset, priced at $19.99. Some light assembly is required. I like that the playset is taller than the doll, but the doll still has to stand on the side if you want to see her face. The doll has the basic five points of articulation with movement at the head, shoulder, and hip. One arm is bent, and her face paint or screening looks pretty good. This doll has black hair pulled back into a ponytail, painted edges, and pink lipstick. This doll has the same face sculpt as our Beach Barbie. I do like the Beach Barbie's lipstick better. She comes wearing a printed dress. It's a pink and white print with a printed denim overall dress on the front. At first, I thought this was an apron until I saw the printed buckles. I do wish that it went all the way around or if it was just an apron. She is wearing pink boots that make it easy to balance her to stand. This playset gives us a lot of food items, which I think is pretty cool. We have lettuce, bananas, apples, and carrots, all on the top rack. Then on the bottom, we have a basket that has cheese. It's hollow on the other side and a piece has already been cut out. There is a second basket with loaves of bread and they are hollow on the other side. The counter is white and smooth. Here's the little register, a silver colored scale that you can put things in and the little arrow can move. On the other side, there is a place to hold flowers. There's a Barbie sign, a pink and white awning. The stand has a wood grain texture, but it's painted like a greenish blue color. And we have a purple tote, like a reusable grocery bag. However, I do wish it was made of fabric. And I would have loved to have seen the legs of the stand brown, but that's just me. For the most part, I think this is a pretty decent playset. And we can always use a little bit of paint to add some details, like paint the stems of the flowers green. Yeah, that's better. Let's add a little red to the flowers to just make them pop. You know, a lot of the details are there. We just gotta use a little paint to bring them out. I have lots of these little bouquets from Ken Groom Fashion Packs. So we can add more flowers to the playset and paint them differently. I am enjoying this a lot. I bought like six of those Ken fashion packs, so I have a lot of flowers. I like doing all this painting, so let's pull the stand apart. Can I remove this? Yeah. Then paint it a light brown. I'm using acrylic paint and I'm having to do a couple of coats. Not so bad. Acrylic paint can scratch off pretty easily, so an option is to use a sealant to protect it or to use spray paint. While waiting for that to dry, let's paint the tops of the carrots. I went with a light yellowy green color. Then let's add a couple of light orange lines. I add a little terracotta paint between each carrot to make a shadow and just spend a little time blending it out. Let's add a little detail to the apples. And I'm just brushing it with a pale yellow, then a little dark red, some light green. I'm just lightly painting mine going down the sides. I think our apples look pretty good. Let's lightly brush the stand with a little darker brown. Add the counter back on very carefully so we don't scratch the paint. And the other accessories. I lightly brush the other wood items just to bring out that texture. I used a lighter color on the darker baskets. 
then place them on the shelves. Let's paint some little lines on the bananas. A little green and more brown. Add a little white and light green to the lettuce and a darker green. Let's lightly brush the bread, then brush on a little white. Make that cream and tap the cheese with a lighter color. I mixed a little bit of white, yellow, and a touch of brown. I don't think I'm doing too well with the cheese. I'm just gonna blame it on being lactose intolerant. Now that everything is painted, we can place them on the shelves for the dolls to enjoy at the farmer's market. We just gave our farmer's market a whole new look. With just a little bit of craft paint and a few added accessories, going from this to this. I like all of the food items that come with this playset, and I thought painting them was a lot of fun. This playset feels like the perfect addition to our little farmer's market. I've been looking at it for a while because I like that it comes in realistic colors. I'm not going to repaint everything, but I am gonna dry brush this real fast. And it's finished all the way around. That's cool. And maybe we can just tap the soil with a little black. The details are there, you just gotta bring them out. There are even little nails. This playset also comes with lots of fruits and vegetables, like lettuce, carrots with painted tops, strawberries, tomatoes on the vine, I think these are blueberries, and some come with more than one, like the lettuce and the carrots. There are also some gardening tools, a watering can, bag of seeds, a basket, butterfly, hat, and a curvy doll. She has her hair pulled up onto the top of her head, has delicate painted edges, comes wearing a sunflower romper with elastic around the waist and no opening in the back. She wears green boots and has the basic five points of articulation with movement at the head, shoulder, and hip. I'm gonna switch her out for a doll with a little more articulation. All right, Angelina. And since this outfit doesn't have Velcro in the back, you can flip it around to give her a V-neck. And now our doll has elbows, so she can put on her hat and do a little gardening. We can place the carrots in the holes in the soil, as well as the lettuce. Then pretend like the doll is harvesting her veggies. We can attach some of the other fruits and vegetables to the vine. I do wish this came with more tomatoes, or different vines so it doesn't look like they're all growing from the same one. The little rabbit can go underneath and we can make a scene where our dolls are growing the vegetables and then selling them at the farmer's market. All right then, businesswoman. I buy a lot of Barbie play sets and a lot of times my complaints are colors or lack of painted details. So this was a fun project for me because we got to customize some of our accessories. The apples probably took me the longest, but I am absolutely in love with them. And now I kind of want to paint more, but we'll save that for another day. Thank you for joining us while we took a look at some Barbie play sets and painted a few things. Let us know in the comments down below if you like this kind of video. Like, Comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at My Froggy Stuff, The Frog Vlog, and Bella of My Froggy Stuff. And we will see you next time.